The newest rumor on the block in the Arkham community is that an Arkham Origins remaster is inbound. Today I want to talk about whether or not I think that you should put any stake into this rumor, and whether or not I think it would be a good move for Warner Brothers to release right now. So, first of all, let's get into the validity of this. I've heard a few different claims. I've heard some people say that this is merely coming from a Reddit leak with absolutely no viability and absolutely no validity. And some have told me that the leaks are actually stemming from fairly reliable sources. Now, I do think that it is interesting timing. With that being said, I do not think you should put any stake into this rumor. Take it with less than a grain of salt because I do not think we are getting an Arkham Origins remaster. I wish we were, I really do, but I have seen this rumor pop up far too many times and it has always ended in disappointment, so don't get your hopes up. With that being said, I don't think that it is impossible. I doubt, again, that this is in the works, but I wouldn't necessarily be surprised if it was. We have to remember that Gotham Knights is coming out this year. Suicide Squad killed the Justice League, which takes place in the Arkhamverse, is releasing next year, and then either next year or the year after that, we're getting Wonder Woman. DC is going to be in full swing in their video game department. The one thing that they don't have is another entry in their tentpole Arkham franchise, which has been their moneymaker and their visibility in gaming for a very long time. The Arkham games are huge, again, not only for DC, but for the gaming community as a whole. And I'm sure that there are reservations moving forward with all these new IPs without another Arkham game to potentially balance out one that may underperform, such as Gotham Knights or even Suicide Squad. Before the Arkham Origins remaster rumors, there was actually a leak from NVIDIA which has hinted that there is an Arkham Knight remaster in the works. So I can't help but wonder if maybe Arkham Knight will be getting a ray traced 4K 60 frames per second update for the Series X and PlayStation 5. Maybe they'll do the same thing for the Return to Arkham versions of Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, or who knows, maybe there's even a remake for Arkham Asylum in the works. It would make sense if they're going to re-release a collection of the Arkham games, whether it's just Arkham Knight or the whole bundle, that they might be interested in including Arkham Origins, as that is the one game that hasn't really been re-released for new consoles. There is a fan base for Arkham Origins, but it is interesting because it is the least beloved out of the four games that was developed by Warner Brothers Games Montreal and not Rocksteady, but Rocksteady did make it pretty clear that they consider it to be in the same continuity. They even included some of the characters from Arkham Origins in Arkham Knight. And so it would make sense to bring the full series to the console that Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League will be on, as again, that is set in the same continuity. It has been interesting to watch the rise of Batman Arkham Origins in popularity. The game did not release on next generation consoles at the time, the Xbox One and the PS4 in 2013. It released the same year as those consoles did, but there was not a version for the new consoles. And at the time there was no backwards compatibility. So there was a lot of people who got the new consoles that just could not play Batman Arkham Origins unless they could play it on the PC. There also were a handful of bugs and PC issues that kind of ruined the experience for a lot of people out of the gate, but ultimately it has risen a lot in popularity and some people even call it their favorite Arkham game. I think that the demand for a remaster of Arkham Origins has grown significantly. With that being said, I still think that it is probably the least popular out of the four. So while I do think that an Arkham Origins remaster would be profitable and it would be fairly cheap and easy to make, I still think that they would probably want to bundle it with the other games as well. Again, if they did an Arkham Knight remaster, they could bundle it and call it Return to Arkham Volume 2. Or if they remade Arkham Asylum, they could include a remaster of Arkham Origins, or they could include PS5 ports for each of the previous four games when Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League comes out. But that's where I'm kind of sitting with it. I think Arkham Origins is a great game. I would love to be able to play it on the PlayStation 5. I would love for it to get a graphical overhaul. I don't know how likely it is because, again, it doesn't seem like Warner Brothers has ever really had interested in remastering Arkham Origins. With that being said, I could see it being bundled. I think now is the time that it would happen with Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League coming out, and also Gotham Knights coming out. I could see Warner Brothers looking for a way to increase profitability of the previous Batman games, get those selling again, and really just benefiting off of the new DC game releases with the old ones as well. 
So while I don't think you should be expecting an Arkham Origins remaster, I do think that the door is open for one, and I think that you should let Warner Brothers know if that's something you're interested in, as if there is a high enough demand for it. I could see them talking about that possibility amongst themselves and seeing which studio they could outsource that to. Thanks you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you think we're getting an Arkham Origins remaster, and would you like to see one? Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.